Hi friends! Are you looking for classy Christmas but you don't want the price tag? Vintage Christmas decorations is the way to go. This is the first year I've ever done it and I want to show you how easy it is and so affordable. First I started off with these red berries. They are probably 10 years old, super worn out and I'm just gonna snip them off with these pliers into little sections. You also wanna dry some oranges from the grocery store. I will link a video below to show you how I did that. So easy. You just stick them in the oven 200 degrees for three to five hours, flip them every 30 minutes. So easy, I will give you the link. Grab some pine cones, you can get them from your local parks, you can pick them up at Hobby Lobby, whatever. Take a look at this, I just poked a little hole in this orange and we are going to attach a string to it. I am using this hemp string, but you could use a ribbon, you could use whatever. Um, I also have, uh, you'll see these little cinnamon sticks throughout my garlands and my decorations. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, wherever. This Norfolk pine foliage, I snipped off of a big um, piece that I got from Hobby Lobby. I ended up getting the huge garland because it was $25 and it will last forever. I used it for... Um, these Christmas ornaments, I used it for tucking into the garland on my uh, banister. You will see it hanging down. It just gives a rich, um, more vintage look, and you don't have to buy individual sprigs. You just snip them off of the garland. To attach the pine cones to the garland and also to these little ornaments, I use the little metal wire that you use for, it's like a floral wire, super easy to snip and attach pine cones. And these are just the cutest little things. You can hang them up anywhere I attach them. I'm gonna put some on my Christmas trees, some on my garland, and it's easy. You could add the red berries to these, pine cones to these, and they are just a super fun decor. I think I might even put some on packages. You could bake a loaf of bread, attach them to the bread. It, the sky is the limit with these, and the price tag was not high at all. You can see there, do you see in those banisters, the cedar that I attached to the middle that is hanging down. It just gives it a rich look to it. I also found um, some sprigs of right there. It's faux juniper that was from Hobby Lobby. Only a few of them, it really was not pricey. Uh, and you can attach those for a more rich vintage look. I had an old worn out garland and instead of buying brand new garlands, I just added a little bit of juniper branch, a little bit of cedar, um, a little bit, they have some sprigs of the, um, what is that? It's like a pine, an Austrian pine. And that just gives it a rich look without having to buy all brand new. Look how cute these are. Oh my word, it was so fun. My four-year-old helped me to hang them. You could collect pine cones together, make this a memory and enjoy my friends.